Where would reality television be without good hosts? Designers, can I have your attention, please? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reality TV show hosts. For this list, we've chosen the hosts from reality TV shows that guide viewers and contestants alike through each episode. We do have some other business to take care of. Nick is here, and I think it's important that he gets some closure. We're looking specifically at competition and lifestyle-based reality TV, however. So, hosts from your favorite game shows like Howie Mandel of Deal or No Deal or Jane Lynch of Hollywood Game Night won't be included. Well, welcome to a very special edition of Hollywood Game Night. It's Ladies Night! <laughs> Number 10, Padma Lakshmi, Top Chef. Good morning, chefs. Like salt and pepper or peanut butter and jelly, Padma Lakshmi pairs perfectly with both this show and its head judge, Tom Colicchio. And together, the two are staples of Top Chef. I must say that your plate was the safest Puerto Rican food I've ever had. Lakshmi offers cooking advice from a place of definitive expertise. She hosted her own show on the Food Network prior to this gig and has created two cookbooks as well as a memoir, Love, Loss, and What We Ate, which shows just how much food is part of her life. Tonight's decision is particularly hard because there were a lot of chefs who had a bad day today in the kitchen. Neither Padma nor Tom holds back the spice when it comes to critiquing food, but both are able to have fun and dig into their work, making for an easy-to-digest viewing experience. I'll see you at the picnic tomorrow. Good luck and have fun. Number 9. RuPaul RuPaul's Drag Race. You know what time it is? No. no. It's time for the Junior Drag Superstar Pageant. You better work if you expect to make it far on this show. And you'll have to work even harder to get in the good graces of this host and judge. It never occurred to me that you'd actually be out of drag. I'm in drag, Ru. But you're in a male drag. RuPaul is nothing if not fierce and full of wisdom, sharing his experiences and expertise with the contestants. And he's able to let everyone know that he's still the drag queen supreme without stealing the limelight from the contestants. You are just jealous of my boogie. <laughs> Known for jiff worthy one liners like, Don't it up. And, Shantae, you stay. RuPaul has created a space on TV where LGBTQ people are free to be whomever they want to be without the worry of judgment. I am your family. We are a family here. I love you. I love you. Number eight, Julie Chen, Big Brother. Tonight, Big Brother is back with another season of drama, fun, and betrayal. Calm, cool, and collected are the three qualities that any host of this crazy show would need to have. And Julie Chen has them all. Once you walk through that door behind you, you won't come out until you've either been evicted or won the half million dollar grand prize. Is everyone ready? Yes! Having been with the franchise since it began in the year 2000, Julie has grown in her hosting abilities and is able to use her journalistic approach to deal with the wacky housemates. She's good at talking to those who've been evicted and isn't afraid to confront housemates with unpopular opinions. Everything they say, everything they do gets broadcast live on the internet. So when you say the intention was not to hurt anyone, let me just read back a few of the things you said. <laughs> Referring to Candace, you said, be careful what you say in the dark, might not be able to see the bitch. She's come a long way since being called the Chen Bot and her signature no-nonsense style is now appreciated. I laughed out loud in my office by myself. I said, oh my God, I am the Chen Bot. The antics of the housemates would probably drive a rookie crazy, but Julie's a seasoned veteran who's more than up to the challenge. Welcome to Big Brother. Number seven, Kat Dealey, So You Think You Can Dance. The search for America's favorite dancer has brought us here to the freezing cold shores of Lake Michigan. It's time for the Milwaukee auditions. Welcome to So You Think You Can Dance. She was brought on in the show's second season, and honestly, we can't remember what it was like before Kat started hosting. A vivacious beauty with an infectious laugh, Kat's the kind of host everyone wishes had more screen time. So, you got the stamp of approval. 
she has that unique talent where she's able to make her hosting feel effortless, like she's a friend to the contestants, and makes the viewer experience a low-stress, enjoyable one. Yes. You're gonna leave it all on the stage? Yes. That's what we like to do. She's able to calm nerves, start the party, and get the dancers to share their personal stories with her. And let's not forget, she does this week after week on live TV, juggling the show's schedule and commercials like the pro she is. Who else is in trouble? We'll find out after the break. Number 6. Heidi Klum and Tim Gunn, Project Runway As you know in fashion, one day you're in, and the next day you're out. Like a designer and his muse, Heidi and Tim form a pair that's always in style. As a host and judge, Heidi wears two hats, and she looks great in both. I find this always so amazing when you guys say, like, it's the first time I had to design for a real woman. No, I've actually designed. Like, who is not real? She's able to connect with the contestants while still being able to offer a harsh critique if needed. Tim, on the other hand, is an advisor to the designers, offering the kind of guidance and wisdom that comes from being a former teacher and chair at Parsons The New School for Design in his own measured, sophisticated tone and manner. I'm the old fart, I admit it, but I find right. it to be pretty vulgar. Really? Yeah. You've got to be careful what happens here and what happens back here. Right. And, like any reality host worth his salt, each has their own signature catchphrase. Tim urges contestants to make it work. Make that work. While Heidi's mastered the art of the contestant send-off with a Kurt Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Number 5. Tom Bergeron. Dancing with the Stars. Welcome to Dancing with the Stars, the grand finale. I'm Tom Bergeron. You wouldn't think that the guy who hosted America's Funniest Home Videos would be the logical choice to host a show that brings the sophistication of ballroom dance together with the glamour of Hollywood. Yet there's never been a better match. Emmett and Mario are tied with 89 points out of 90. They couldn't pick a winner, so it was really up to you. Tom is in his element putting his 20-plus years of hosting experience to good use on the live and sometimes unpredictable TV show. And, of course, you've got to show the gaiety and the fun of the samba. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a take commercial break. break. Commercial we'll break. be right back, and uh, we'll be right back after this. Since the series' beginning, he's been paired with various different co-hosts. But he's the one viewers come to for comfort. Until the votes are counted, the only way to keep the teleprompter rolling is to roll the teleprompter. I can do this all night. Yeah, that's good. Sure, his jokes could use some punching up and probably sound like something your dad would say, but it works. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Our elimination will continue when we come back. Number four, Chris Harrison, The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. So ladies, what do you think of the place? It's gonna be all right? It takes a host as skilled, likable, and as easygoing as Chris Harrison to make a show like this work. Not to mention juggling all the spin-offs it's produced. Tonight, we will have not one, but two beautiful women meeting 25 of the most eligible men in America. That's right, for the first time ever, there will be two bachelorettes, at least for tonight. Even if he's faking it, Chris acts like a believer in true fairy tale love which is the premise this whole show hinges on. Sean proposed to Caitlin and she said yes. And we are, that's right, we're all hoping that they live happily ever after. He sells the magic, the fantasy, and the amazingness of The Bachelor or Bachelorette, helping them to find their soon-to-be husband or wife in a room of 25 contestants who may or may not be there for the right reasons. Rosalind, you entered into an inappropriate relationship with one of our, with one of our staffers. That staffer is no longer working with us. What's more, he's flexible no matter the circumstance, whether it's consoling a sobbing contestant who didn't get a rose, or just humoring some of the more offbeat contestants. Yo, here's the picture, you sent, out, you sent this out to your buddies. You said, yeah. you said, don't worry, Caitlin, I'm coming for you. Yeah. Number three, Phil Kogan. The Amazing Race. The world is waiting for you. Good luck. Almost 30 seasons in, and Phil Kogan is still a globe-trotting super host. Go! Go! Woo! Come on, come on. Imagine how demanding his job is. It takes him all over the world to different time zones and unfamiliar locales, and shoots up to two seasons a year. This detour requires teams to choose two things that Belgium is in no short supply of. 
Water or waffles? Not many people would be up for a job as challenging as that. But Phil's been our man since the beginning. My name is Marcus. You guys are still in the race. You are team number four. Unflappable, confident, and always welcoming. Phil's the man you want to see after a long leg on the race. Plus, he's won 10 Emmy Awards. A true adventurer in every sense. We'd go anywhere he leads us. Tyler and Corey, today you are team number one. No! <laughs> number two, Ryan Seacrest, American Idol. This is where you find the best music on television. And this is American Idol. Here we go. As one of the most likable faces on TV, and host of one of the most successful reality TV shows ever, Ryan Seacrest has to be one of the most trusted men on the small screen. Mm, hey, yo. Well, there he is. A pizza pie, that's water. AI remained a one-man show ever since Seacrest's fellow host Brian Dunkelman left after the first season. With movie star good looks and a 100-watt smile, Ryan has the hard task of juggling the larger-than-life personalities of the celebrity judges with the eagerness of the contestants. So how would you sum up your city here? I knew New York was going to rip. And they did in such a great way. And that doesn't even cover the added pressure of doing it on live TV up to twice a week for 15 seasons. Charming and never thrown off balance. Ryan has the ability to make everything look easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next week for American Idol right here. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. All right, before you tear everything apart, I'm with Habitat Humanity. There's a few things we're going to say. This family is all about giving, and well, they're going to give to some other families, okay? Don't destroy everything, but we got to do some demos, so are you ready? Lucky for you guys, the snow has let up, and hopefully will let up long enough to squeeze in your first stunt. You six people have been brought here from all over the country for one reason, to stare fear in the eye as you compete for $50,000. I don't really fit in here. A lot of it is fear of something that's different, fear of something that you're not like used to. You're getting judged on the transformation in your photos and with who you are as a person. <laughs> Number one. Jeff Probst, Survivor. Survivor's ready. Go! It'd be impossible to imagine this franchise without his presence. Jeff Probst embodies the spirit of Survivor. Outwit, outplay, outlast. All right, let's go. We need water, water, water. He's been hosting the show since the year 2000. And like a true competitor, he shows no signs of slowing down. For today's challenge, both tribes will race out into the water to a large bamboo cage. You'll climb over the cage and into the water where you will find a very heavy chest. You must then untie the cage door and drag the chest through the cage and all the way back to shore. He's the guy you want narrating the challenges, the guy you trust when it comes to spilling your game strategy at tribal council, and the guy who keeps calm during an emergency. All right, you're in good hands. You have the luxury of having won a challenge. You can sit here and relax, no pressure. Come on, baby, get it in there. Let's see what happens with the other two tribes. Unlike most other hosts, it's obvious that Jeff is truly passionate about the game and the greater social experiment the show is trying to execute. With all due respect to Austin, people work too damn hard to get in this game and fight to stay alive. He wants to lay his torch down, so it shall be. The one constant on this show, Jeff Probst is a large part of what keeps viewers coming back over 30 seasons into this iconic franchise. The tribe spoke. Do you agree with our list? Which reality TV show host do you love? All right. I've made my decision. For more riveting top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. The fact is, I will be eliminating most of you.